Hey guys, what's good? What's up? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a skincare haul. I have not done any sort of haul on this channel in a really long time, and I decided to place an order at Ulta and also an order at Laneige um, because, as you guys know, the cooler weather colder weather is quickly approaching and I needed some things for my skin I've been having a lot of texture issues a lot of issues retaining moisture and I've also been having a lot of active breakouts so I'm trying to get all of that under control and that's why I purchased almost $300 worth of stuff at Ulta. So I'm going to hop right in and get started because I have a ton of things to share with you guys. So I'm going to make this as quick as possible. So the first three things that I'm going to mention are from the brand The Ordinary. Um, I've mentioned on this channel before and I've also hauled some products from The Ordinary before. Um, but their products work really, really great. And I needed some of their oils and things like that. So... Um, the first thing I got is this 100% plant-derived squalene oil, and I've never used this oil before. I typically use their rose hip seed oil, but I decided to give this one a try because this is supposed to be the closest thing to the natural oils that your face produces. So I thought I would try this one out, and it was only like $7.80. So yeah, I hope this works out really good. And then I also got the Squalane Cleanser. I mostly got this to remove makeup because I typically do use some sort of acne wash for my face wash. But since I do double cleanse, I thought this would be really good for the days that I wear makeup. I can use this first and then whatever cleanser of my choice second. And I've also heard really great things about this. It's really gentle for the winter time. So I thought it would be a great cleanser. Um, it doesn't contain any like active acid or anything like that so I think it's gonna work out really good I also repurchased the AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution I've used this before plenty of times this is my second bottle of this um, this is the one that's been like all over TikTok and Instagram and things like that like I said I've been using it for quite a while and it works really great at helping with texture on your skin um, it looks like this it's the one that looks kind of like blood <laughs> Well, at least my son says it looks like blood, but this is what it looks like. And I really enjoy this product. If you have sensitive skin, I would be really careful using this, but I don't have sensitive skin at all, so it doesn't really bother me. The first few times I used it, it did really like burn and tingle, especially around my nose area. But after the first few uses, I don't really feel it anymore. So I would definitely recommend this for like texture or if you're struggling with acne or anything like that. And then I purchased quite a few products from Urban Skin RX. I heard they were a really great brand and they're really affordable. I've used, I think, two products from them before in the past. Um, one of them is in this haul and the other one is the... Um, It is the Acne Cleansing Bar. Um, in this order, I purchased the Combination Skin Cleansing Bar. Um, I figured that this one wouldn't be as drying as the Acne one because that one, it works really well, but it can start to become really drying if you use it too often. So I decided to give this one a try. Um, I hope that this works just as good. It says that it's basically the same thing but it says that you can use this one for dry skin dry skin with blemishes fine lines wrinkles sensitive skin breakouts and eczema prone skin and typically during the winter time i do struggle with dry skin so that's why i decided to purchase this one the only thing that i do not like about this product is that obviously it's a cleansing bar and you would think that it would be like a bar of soap but it's not it comes in this jar and there are these little pads that you have to use to get the product out. And I don't find that to be really sanitary. Um, I'm trying to open it up for you guys so I can show you. Yeah, so it comes with these pads that look like this. And you have to wet it and dip it in the product to get the product out. And I don't really like that at all. So typically I take like a little makeup spatula and I actually scoop it out onto my facial cleansing brush and I use it like that because I don't like the idea of wiping my face with the pad and then putting it back in the product. I don't like that at all. But the actual formula of the acne cleansing one is really good. So hopefully this one is just as good. 
And then for my toner, um, about three or four times a week, I typically use the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toner. But I saw these pads, they are the clear and even tone clarifying glycolic pads. And these have glycolic acid, lactic acid, and salicylic acid in them. And I figured that this would just be a little bit easier than having to actually put the toner on the cotton pad, then wiping. I can just take one out of the jar and wipe like that. So it would just be quicker. And my husband and I, we travel a lot we're always going back and forth different places so this would be easier for me to travel with so that's why I decided to try these and these pads have like five stars online and I also like the fact that they have glycolic lactic and salicylic acid all in one because I personally don't like to mix active acids together if they're not already mixed together in a product I don't know I just feel like for myself that's a recipe for disaster so I try to find products that already have everything in one so it's like a one-stop shop. The next thing I purchased is also from that same brand. It is the Acne Serum and Spot Treatment. It has 5% benzoyl peroxide, arnica, and 5% glycolic acid. Um, this I do intend on using as a spot treatment. I don't plan on using this all over my face. I just ran out of my current spot treatment and needed a new one, so I decided to give this one a try. And also, I want to mention, I will not be incorporating all of these products into my skincare routine at once because that is just a big no-no like don't ever do that um a lot of these things you know i'm gonna try out here and there and if i like them then i'll incorporate them permanently and if not i'll just bring them back to ulta this product i've already used before and i really love it it is the purifying two-in-one pumpkin pour detox mask and scrub this stuff works really great this is my second time repurchasing this and i really like it because it warms up on the skin and it smells exactly like pumpkin like it smells like pumpkin pie pumpkin spice some type of pumpkin goodness. It smells really great. And the crazy part about it is I don't like to eat pumpkin anything. Um, it's not really like my thing, but I do love the smell. And this, it comes in this little tube. The only thing about this is like you get like five or six uses out of this. There's not very much product in here. It comes like halfway full. But you can use this as a mask and a scrub. So after I put it on my face and I let it sit for 10 minutes, it warms up and feels really nice. I like to take a little bit of water and wet my face and then I use it as a scrub to exfoliate. Now this I don't use very often because if you're using um, chemical exfoliants, you shouldn't be using physical exfoliants exfoliants um, in conjunction with that but I will use this like once or twice a month if you know I haven't used any sort of chemical exfoliant for the month but it feels really great on the skin and it smells really good especially going into the fall and winter time so I just had to repurchase it and the last thing that I have to mention from the Urban Skin RX brand is the retinol rapid repair and dark spot treatment um, I need something to treat all of the acne spots that are left behind from the active acne. So I decided to give this a try. It had really great reviews as well. Um, this stuff was kind of expensive. It was like 20, I want to say like $24, but it had really great reviews online. So I figured that it would work really great. It has um, retinol, vitamin A, um, kojic, Co I don't know how to pronounce that, but K-O-J-I-C acid and then niacinamide. And I have used niacinamide on my skin before from The Ordinary and it works really great. So hopefully this product works just as well. It says to use this, um, I guess you use it once a day for two to three weeks and then after that you can increase it. Um, you definitely want to make sure you're being very careful with this because retinol can be very drying on the skin, especially if your skin is not used to it. So I would be very careful incorporating this into your skincare routine. Um, I don't exactly know how I'm going to use it just yet because I do have a few other active acids in my routine right now. But I'm pretty sure I'll find some type of way to incorporate this. Um, especially after I've cleared up all my breakouts, I'm going to stop, you know, using like the salicylic acid and things like that. And then I'll just move on to the retinol. The next two products I have to mention are from um, Origins. The first one is this Good Morning Greats. Um, it's a skincare trio. It's like a little sample sized box. And I purchased this first because 
I really wanted to try out some of the Origins products and I really ended up liking the gel moisturizer and the eye cream. The face wash is just like a typical face wash. It wasn't anything special, but since I liked the moisturizer so much out of the sample kit, then I purchased the, well, this is not the full size. This is, this is just a larger size um, of the moisturizer. It is the oil-free energy boosting gel moisturizer. And I got the one ounce. Um, I really love this stuff. This is probably my favorite daytime moisturizer ever. Of all the moisturizers that I've ever tried, this one is like the perfect balance. It's moisturizing enough without being like too oily or greasy. It doesn't cause me any breakouts or anything like that. Um, this is what the actual jar looks like. This stuff works really well. Like I said, it gives my skin the perfect amount of moisture. So this is definitely a must have. If I would recommend and anything out of this entire haul it would definitely be this moisturizer like i said it's just perfect for me for daytime um for nighttime moisturizers i do use something a little bit thicker because i'm not applying any makeup or anything like that but this is perfect and that's another thing it goes really great up underneath makeup so this is overall a great buy and this one it was 18 dollars I saw that they raised the price $1 online, so like for the one ounce, it's $19, which is still a really great price because you do get a lot of product in here. I could probably get at least two or three months worth of um, uses out of this if I only use it for my daytime moisturizer. And then moving on to random things, I did purchase quite a few random things at Ulta. Um, the number one is this, I mean the number one. The first one is this Moon Dust Advanced Whitening teeth whitening paste booster and i bought this because as you guys know i only use like natural toothpaste and majority of them honestly don't do anything to help with whitening your teeth so i decided to give this a try it had really great reviews on the ulta website and it was 14 dollars, so i figured why not um you take this and you put it on top of your toothpaste on your toothbrush and this is what the packaging looks like. It has a really sparkly little top. And um, let me see what it looks like. I thought there was charcoal in here, but I actually read it and there isn't. Oh, so yeah, it really is a paste, like, I mean, not a paste, a dust. And it's kind of sparkly, which is really pretty. So hopefully I get really good results out of that because I have not been liking, um, how my teeth have been looking lately they don't look bright and vibrant and i don't like that and my husband he has really bright white teeth so there's always a competition of who can get the whiter teeth <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna use this and hopefully it'll be like my secret weapon against them i purchased two products from Weletta. i got the skin food lip butter and i'm always on the market for a really great um lip product like a lip moisturizer chapstick lip balm things like that and this one had really great reviews i did not realize that this little thing was so small on the website but it's only 0.27 fluid ounces so it's really little and i also purchased the skin food ultra rich cream and I purchased this for a nighttime facial moisturizer because, like I said, I'm always looking for something that will enhance the moisture level of my face. And this can also be used on your hands, feet, and elbows, which, I mean, in the fall and winter time, you always need something for your hands, feet, and elbows. So, yeah, I tried a little drop of this out on the back of my hand, and it is really, really thick. So this is what it looks like, and it's a really thick cream. So I figured that it'll work really great for my skin. Hopefully it doesn't break me out because sometimes thicker moisturizers can break me out. But this one, it had really great reviews as well. People said that it didn't break their skin out. So hopefully this works out for me. And I needed something to add to my cart to get free shipping on one of my orders because I did not purchase all of this stuff in one order. I split it into multiple orders because I had coupon codes to use. And I decided to pick up this Juice Beauty Organic Solution Blemish Clearing Cleanser. And it's just a little travel size. It was $10. Like I said, I do use um, acne cleansers often. So I figured why not try this one out. I've heard Juice Beauty is a really great brand. And it was only $10. So why not? 
And then also moving on to more lip products, I got this Star Kisser Jelly Lip Plumping Mask from Truly. And this is what the packaging looks like. I hope you guys can see that because it's really bright. But I purchased this because it looked pretty, to be honest. It's really glittery and sparkly and it has like, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it has like little glitter stars in it. So it was really pretty and it smells exactly like pumpkin, a uh, pumpkin, peppermint. And it says it has hyaluronic acid, aloe and a peppermint boost. I tried this one time before. It was very tingly on my lips. I don't need anything to help with lip plumping. My lips are already pretty plump, but I just thought that, you know, it would be something cute and fun to do, especially on the nights when I'm doing a face mask. And then I also got the Burt's Bees Lip Butter. This is the Lavender and Honey Scent. This is another thing that comes in a tin, which I'm going to be using some sort of like makeup spatula for because I hate sticking my fingers in these things. But it comes in this little tiny tin. And like I said, you can never go wrong with lip products. I'm always trying to find something that's moisturizing and this, you know, it's Burt's Bees. Burt's Bees lip products are always pretty good. So I decided to try this out. I wanted to smell it, but it has a plastic seal on it. So whatever. Hopefully it's really good. And then I also purchased this Hello deodorant. It has activated charcoal and it's the fresh and clean scent. And you guys know I usually use the Schmitz deodorant or the Native deodorant. But I thought I would give this a try because... The reviews always get me and this had like really great reviews and I'm always on the lookout for another natural aluminum free deodorant that's gonna work really great oh this one smells good it smells fresh and clean so yeah it's a deodorant <laughs> I mean there's really nothing else to say it's deodorant so hopefully it you know keeps my armpits from stinking and then the last three products that I have to mention are from Laneige. Laneige. Does anybody know how to properly pronounce this? Because I don't. But the first thing I got is the Lip Sleeping Mask. And I just got the pink one. It is in, I think this is the berry. Yeah, I think this is the berry scented one. Um, it's this little, little jar. And as you guys know, like everyone on YouTube, Instagram, all that good stuff talks about these things. So I thought that I would give it a try. Oh, and it comes with a little brush. The little brush. So cute. So hopefully it's all the rave that everyone talks about because it was expensive. It wasn't cheap. And then for the daytime, I got the Lip Glowy Balm. And this is the grapefruit one. It's supposed to be just like the lip sleeping mask, but the daytime version. So... Hopefully this works really good. It comes in a cute little packaging. And this is expensive too for a lip balm, so it better work really great. If not, oh well. <laughs> it won't be the first time I bought something that didn't work. And the last product I have to mention is the Sleeping Care Water Sleeping Mask. And this is a mask that you put on your skin at nighttime. And it's supposed to like really moisturize your face. And it feels really heavy duty. This packaging feels really, really heavy duty. But um, it's really, really pretty. I really like it. And then let's see what the product is like. Oh, it's like a gel. It's like a really, it's kind of almost the same texture as the Origins um, face moisturizer. So yeah, hopefully this works really good. It smells really good too. Um, it has like a light, fresh fragrance. So yeah, I think I really like that. And then it comes with a little, a little spoon to scoop it out, which I really like that. Like I said, I don't like dipping my fingers in products. When you have acne prone skin, the worst thing you can do is touch your face a lot with your fingers or put your fingers in your products a lot and things like that so I try to avoid that as much as possible but that is everything that I purchased I hope you guys really enjoyed this haul if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe leave a comment in the comment box down below letting me know what are your favorite skincare products and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys